Hey, Comp Train. Hope you had a great weekend. Let's go Coach's Corner, Macro, Micro, and Mixed Bag. So, Macro and Micro together. This is Open the Startup 21.1. So, let's talk about all three groups and what to expect this week going into the Open and beyond. So, the three groups are Open, Qualifier, and then Team. Call that a separate group just for the sake of today's uh, description. So for the open group, let's talk to you that one first. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're coming off the deload week and these three days, we wanna ramp back up. Last week we talked about how we don't wanna go into a competition right off a deload. We feel rusty, breathing feels funny, legs feel funny, the squat feels funny, kinda of tight. Let's use these three days to dust off the rust. So controlled intensity, we'll mention that inside the notes, controlled intensity, but let's open up the legs, open up the lungs, find a rhythm once again. We'll deload on Thursday with an optional pregame, compete on Friday. And that rhythm gets repeated week after week. So we're gonna still train during the open, but it's a primer for that next following open workout. So the work of the following week, we're still gonna say snatch and squat on Monday, as long as that fits. However, it's more of a practice fine tune our technique, then go for heavy loads. And you guys know the deal with that. It's keep the movements fresh, but don't blow ourselves out of the water. We have a competition in a few days. In terms of redoing the open workout, so Friday, of course, we do the open. On Monday, it's optional. So we're gonna have a workout program for you inside the open prep track if you are not repeating, but we'll also put there uh, the option to repeat the workout. More on that when we get to, the, to that date inside the programming. So there's the open prep track. For the qualifier prep track, we kind of have three subgroups in that. We have individuals, then we have the teams in that order, and then we have the age group online qualifier, our age groupers. And each and every track has specific training tailored towards what we think is gonna go on inside the online qualifier, the quarterfinals. So it's a full training cycle using the open as one of many pieces throughout the week. So volume wise, it's identical to a training cycle. Intensity wise, it's actually a little bit more intense a training cycle as we're getting ready for a competition. So you're gonna have many more parts than the open prep track for all the right reasons. And when we get to our specific online qualifier, whether it be in these teams or age groups, expect the taper specific to your dates. And then of course, event specific strategy for all three groups. The last group, teams. Now that's different because I have one small note to make. Um, first week with this team track was um, last week. This is our second week and Going forward, we're gonna have all five conditioning workouts as a team variation. So here's the, the quick down and dirty on that. We don't recommend doing the team conditioning workout five days a week or all five training days. Now, the reason why we're posting five team workouts is so that you can plan your own weeks with your teams. So we understand that if we say on Monday, it's this specific workout with a guy-girl pair, that's kind of tough to do week after week, day after day. It may not line up with your team, schedules and whatnot. So we're gonna give you all five workouts and we'd like you to do only two to three per week. We want you guys training the individual workouts as well to keep the fitness going. So team workouts, phenomenal practice opportunity. We should be doing those, but think about like a 50-50 balance. Individual variations and team variations for you to decide. So inside the notes, we'll have the individual workout as well inside the team track, but that's the down and dirty on how teams will look. All right, cool. Let's go to the mixed bag. Hey team, Coach Jared here. With the Open coming up this week, um, we're going to be hard at work here trying to put out as much information and strategies we possibly can in order for you to be able to optimize your performance in the open this year we're going to be here late every thursday after the open announcement putting stuff out as the events happen um, and we're going to do a few different videos type based on strategy coach harry's gone over it more in depth in other videos but based on what type of athlete you are, some high level strategy. For our pro users, uh, Coach Tori and I are gonna end up doing some something closer to our movement efficiency videos with transition strategies, best ways, best practices to hold the bar, different things like that so that way movement to movement um, and rep to rep, you can optimize your performance that way. What we're gonna do today as a demo of something we're gonna be putting out for you guys uh, is we're gonna talk about Monday's workout, Monday's open track workout, and we're gonna use that as an example for how we're gonna strategize these workouts and these movements with Coach Tori.
Awesome guys. So Monday's workout, we have three movements. We have overhead squats, some dumbbell hand clean and jerks, and toast bar. So I'm gonna have Jarrett walk over to the barbell. We'll talk about the overhead squats first. So with overhead squats today, we can do two different options. We can go narrow grip. Jarrett's gonna hit two narrow grip overhead squats. And we'll rack the bar. And we'll go two wide grip overhead squats. So these are kind of our two options we typically see. One, the more stacked grip, if you have mobility for it, that allows us to stack the bar over the head and use less muscles and just more or less stacking the bones over the, over the body, which makes it a lot easier to hold on to. It's a little nicer on the wrist too. So if you have mobility for it, go for it. If you have a wider grip, totally fine, good to go. That's usually if you don't have the mobility for that narrow grip, um, just works just as well. Let's go ahead and bar down. The other thing here on the overhead squat is we can start the overhead squats by squat snatching or power snatching. If you go with a squat snatch, let's be really confident in our ability to catch that bar and not be thrown too far off balance. A couple extra seconds we may save for that, uh, doing that squat snatch versus the power snatch might be lost if we get thrown off balance. If we go with the power snatch approach, let's hit that power snatch, stand up nice and tall, get stabilized in the midline before we hit that first rep. We'll go far down. With the dumbbell hand clean and jerks today, something we can do is we can either dumbbell hand clean and jerk, or we can dumbbell hand clean and push press. So let's show two jerks and then two push press. Hand clean and jerk, followed by two hand clean and push press. Love it. So the hand clean and jerk, as you can see, is a little bit slower of a rep. It might be able to uh, help you save the arms a little bit, but what's a little bit faster if you're looking to gain some extra seconds or some extra speed is gonna be with that push press. Be a little bit faster off the shoulder and then bringing that dumbbell back down. The other thing here on the clean and jerk, guys, we wanna make sure that we keep that midline rigid. Typically what we see on those dumbbell hand clean and jerks is sometimes we'll see that lower back, especially when tired, start to get a little bit loose. <laughs> That lower back gets a little bit loose, which then fires up that lower back, and we definitely don't want to be dealing with that in the middle of the workout. So keep that midline rigid, especially in that hang position. Love it. One quick thing on the toes to bar. We're thinking about keeping, uh, bringing those feet down really fast. The faster the feet come down, the better in rhythm we'll be. Jared's going to show us two toe to bar reps with a nice drop of the feet real fast. Love, guys. Have fun with this one. Go get it. 